All righty. So we are on box three of 10. I don't know why I keep saying 15. Maybe it's because it's a 15 piece jewelry. I don't know, but we are on box three of 10. And this is from the lost footage. Yeah. I can't believe that I filmed it up. Oh, I thought I uploaded it to my hard drive, but nope, I didn't. All right. So we got some really fun pieces in this one. Um, let's see. The weirdest thing was I got all these bracelets all in one. This counted as one. There is 17 different bangles. I did do the magnet. And as you can see, they are magnetic. So they are fashion bangles, but there's 17 of them. And they're all the same size. They're about a seven and a half. So I figured they came as one piece. I will sell them as one piece. So I'm going to do these 17 bangles for $10. All right. Then we got a Brighton piece. I love this. It is so pretty. It's got a little cap for graduation. Little bangle. I love it. It opens here. It's magnetic, as you can see. That's pretty good condition. It fits about about a seven and a quarter. It's it's cute. And can you believe it? A few months from now, we'll be graduation season again. So let's do the Brighton Cap uh, bracelet for ten. All right, this I need to test. I did the magnet test and it was not magnetic. It I can't see any markings. It is a twisted bangle. So I'm gonna take this spot here. The scratch looks great. And the reason I left this other brassy tone one on is for people to be able to compare and contrast. This is from those bangles that I showed, the first ones. So you can tell that they're not sterling. And then here is the one we just tested. So I'm going to use the 18 karat gold test. And the reason I use the 18 karat gold test is it will show up blue on the video. All right. So let's see. Let's see if this is blue. Nope. It is not a sterling silver. So I'm not sure what kind of alloy it is, but we know it is not sterling silver, but it is a pretty bangle. It looks like sterling and I just dropped it. All right, let me get a measurement on this. Measures in at about seven and three quarters. That's really pretty. So this one, oh, let's do five. All right. So this is like heavy on bracelets, this batch. A lot of bracelets, a lot of bracelets. All right. Next we have this. This is fun. This is a clasp up like this. It pops open. It is stainless steel. It's marked right there. Leather cord with a really cute bead here with a flower. It's in pretty good condition. I like this piece. You know what? While I have it open, let me measure it. All right. So the total length is about a seven. I would not go any larger than a size seven on this. But this is really pretty. Let's do, let's do that one for five. Okay. And then we have a silver tone bracelet. I don't think it doesn't look like it's sterling, but you know what? We've got the test thing out. Let's try it. Don't see any maker's mark. It's on a string. It's very thin. Oh, nope. You can see right there. It's a bronzy color, so it is not sterling. It is a nice adjustable length, very thin. So let's just do 
let's do three on that one. And then we've got a uh, Jenny Bird, which was a brand I had never heard of. These sell pretty well. It is a mixed media and different colors. You can see the different tones there. Chain bracelet. It's marked clearly Jenny Bird. Let me get you a measurement on this. This is pretty. It's heavy duty. So it is an eight. This is a nice piece. So this is called the Austin Cuff. And I don't know why they call it a cuff because technically it is not a cuff. <laughs> It does have a lobster claw clasp. I will do, let's do 15 for that one. All right, and these I want to test as well. There are three bra uh, bracelets that came together. I tell you, this is a bracelet lot. Um, and they're pretty tiny, but they are adjustable, as you can see. They come out. So I wanted to test some of the beads. Nope. It's bronzy. And then we'll test the wire. Nope. That is bronzy as well. So these are not sterling silver, but there are three adjustable bracelets. They are still very pretty. Well, let's do the three of these for. Let's do 10. All right. Then I got another Brighton bracelet. This one has hearts on it. There's the class. It's really pretty. Silver tone. There is some wear there on the B. Let me get you a measurement on this one. And it is a little bit adjustable. So you could, the smallest would be a seven. The largest it could go is just about an eight. So it's in pretty good condition. There is some wear on the clasp let's do let's do 10 on that all right then we got new on the card bancroft earrings these are beautiful look at those gold tone and this is a really nice muted silver tone color let's get some measurement on these they are two and a half by just under one inch let me show you what the backs look like there we go these are really nice. Bancroft earrings. Let's do, let's do eight on these. Okay. And then we got a pair of brass tone hammered hoops. Nice basic earring, everyday wear. They measure in at just under one and a half inches. That's what they look like. No maker's mark on these. Very nice. So for these earrings, let's do, let's do three. Okay. Then we got a pair of gold tone earrings. And I'm not sure if I tried the magnet on these. Okay. They're not magnetic and it's really difficult. I thought something was marked there. So we are going to test this. Let me find a spot in the rub, the top of the ribbon or the hoop. Nope. You can see the brass tone. Let's rub here. Okay, you can also see the brass tone. So these are not gold. They are just gold tone. They are super pretty. I like these. I like the design. This needs to be reshaped a little bit. They are very pretty, super thin. And I love these with the little circles and two rows. They measure in at just under one and a half inches. Those are pretty. Let's do these for three. Okay, then we've got the sparkle. <laughs> these are really super pretty. I love these. These are one, two, three, four rows of rhinestones, smaller ones and larger ones. And then the center is ball and chain. And then we've got the rows that repeat. There is no maker's mark. These are long. Very nice. They look brand spanking new. These measure in at three and a half inches. Aren't they lovely? So for these, let's do, let's do six. All right. Then we got a fun pair of earrings in green with 
rhinestones, clear rhinestones, flower design, a antiqued, I wouldn't call this gun metal, it's more of an antiqued brass tone. There is what the back looks like. No maker's mark. Measures in at just over one and a half inches. Aren't these beautiful? Love these. Let's do those for six. All right. And I was so bummed. So we got this beautiful necklace, and this is stone. And it came with matching earrings, but the earring post is broke off on here, which is such a shame. That's, you can see right there, there's the post, and this one is missing it. So what I'll do is probably, I can put them together with the necklace, and if someone wants to fix it, um, I just wanted to include it with it. I don't want to separate it, so it would need to be fixed. These measure in at just under an inch by one inch. Really pretty, but remember, this is broke. And then we have the beautiful pendant necklace. It's stone, silver tone. That's what the back looks like. Really nice chain. It looks brand new as well. No maker's mark that I could find. I even checked inside the bale. It is beautiful. So the length it sits at right now is a seven and a half inch wearable. But there is another inch and a half extender. So for the necklace and the broken earrings, let's do 15. It's really pretty. All right. We have three more pieces to go. This I love. It's a chain of chains. <laughs> All right. So here is the clasp on this. It's by Amarita. I know I saw the hang tag. There it is. A-M-R-I-T-A. Really beautiful. Let's see how many links there are. Chains there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven different lengths on this necklace. It's beautiful. This looks like it has never been worn either. So to the shortest length, it is an 11 inch wearable. This is a beautiful necklace. And with this, you would not need any other jewelry. This is the showstopper. So for this one, let's do 10. All right. Then we got some sterling silver. This is marked. On the back, it says it's either, it, it's really hard to read the initials. I know it's Taxco. It does have the Taxco marks on it, but I cannot read the number of the artist. I think it's the 76, but I am not sure. Beautiful. This looks like a banded agate to me. And the reason I say that, I'm going to bring it up, is right here. You can see, I'm going to block that light. There you go. You can see the striations in that. It is a beautiful piece. Here is the marking. And it is on a gorgeous a sterling silver chain. I did test it, but we will retest. And I'm taking an inconspicuous spot. And then we will also do a clasp. Okay. This is a gorgeous piece. I'm going to take the 18 carat. Put that on there. Okay. We have got blue right there. You can see that beautiful blue? All right. Nice piece. I'm going to have to clean my stone and get all that brassy tone off. This is a really lovely, lovely piece. I was going to take the pendant off and put it on a different chain, but it came this way, so I wanted to leave it this way. Let me get you a measurement on her. She is gorgeous. This is one I would love to pull for my first uh, live sale, but you guys always get first dibs. So the chain is 9.5 inch wearable, so it's a 19 inch length. Beautiful pendant is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. 
really lovely. So for this piece, I would do 80. She is gorgeous. All right, and then the last piece, I love these. These are made out of either a rain, uh, excuse me, a spoon or a fork, and they are formed. Sometimes they are sterling. Most of the time they are stainless steel. Absolutely beautiful. A friend of ours, Freckled Heart, on YouTube and Etsy, uh, Libby, makes these out of spoons. It is really fantastic to watch. So make sure you check out her her channel. So I'm going to do a scratch on this. It looks pretty good, but you never know. Could be plated. Okay, so the, the harder I rubbed, the more brassy it got. So we're still going to do it since we've got the test material out. All right, let it sit for a minute. So look at that. It is blue, blue. But then this one doesn't look as blue. It's some blue. So I'm going to say this is sterling plated. I'm going to sell it as fashion. It is really beautiful. Let me get the mandrel. She measures in at, let's see, it's <laughs> about a US 5. You can see how it, it swirls, but it looks like you could adjust it. So we're going to sell this as fashion. Let's do her for 10. She's beautiful. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. Uh, mine is always the Taxco. I have an affinity for Taxco. It's just something I highly collect. I also love the Brighton pieces. I think they're interesting. And the sparkly earrings. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, shoot me an email at timeisjewelbydebra at gmail.com. And all the information I need is down there in the description. A timestamp, the name of the video or the date of the video, and a screenshot would be most helpful. And I do put a sold list down, pinned in the comments. And it takes me about 10 hours to get that because usually the orders come in overnight. So when I wake up, I have my coffee and I make the sold list. So you guys have a great one and I will see you tomorrow for part box number four. All right. Have a great one, you guys. Be well and take care of each other. Bye.